some of my experience in the DUI court was actually kind of rough. The program is it's not made to be easy. It was it was difficult in the beginning, being able being able to maintain a job, um, being able to show up to every court appearance, being able to stay sober throughout the whole program. It was pretty difficult going into it, uh, cause when you're living the type of life that I was, you have to make such a dramatic change. You've got to change all the people that you hang out with, where you hang out. I had a lot of problems and thought I had it all worked out on my own. Other people saw things that I didn't see because I was looking from the inside out. When I got into the program and got settled, which probably took me more time than others. It was the discipline that I needed to hold myself accountable for my own actions. It took me at my lowest point and build a foundation with structure. My whole life I had been told I was stupid, wasn't worth anything because my grandparents did not like my father, so they did not like me. Um, I felt low self-worth, which is why I self-medicated with methamphetamine. I didn't know anybody in Douglasville. I got out and uh, had some raggedy clothes that were left for me by the jail, and I <laughs> came up there and didn't have anywhere to go, didn't have anything to eat, no money in my pocket, no food, didn't know what I was going to do, but I never felt alone. Uh, I would probably say the most important thing I learned in DUI court was uh, the accountability and the discipline. I was definitely going down the wrong road, uh, making awful choices, um, and coming into the program, I had to hold myself accountable for my actions, and I had to implement discipline in my life, and I had to change. It wasn't an option, it was a necessity. I learned that I was somebody that can get past things once I allowed myself to be held. I found out that I was the most important thing about the whole experience because I had lost myself along my, my way. I never really knew who I was until I came through this court. You know, there's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing that can't be fixed if there is. If there's, there's a life for you outside of what you've known. And you're not a bad person or wrong because of the life that you have led and you will discover why that is. I learned in the program if I keep myself in that negative state of mind and relying on alcohol to just put me to sleep at night or take away the, the pain and the depression that I was going through, that I wasn't gonna get anywhere. And the most important thing I learned from drug work is that I am important, I am someone. When I came into the program, uh, it was early March. I had gotten out of prison at the end of December the year previous. I was doing a whole bunch of nothing with my life. I was living in my mother's spare room. I worked odd jobs to make a little bit of money here and there. Um, I was more or less riding off of my mother's coattails waiting to see what was gonna happen with all of this. Since I've gotten out of the program, I've bought my first house, had my second child, um, I've got my license back, uh, my career is awesome. Um, I'm taking on a lot of larger side projects, building decks and uh, larger pieces of furniture because I, I have the means to now that I have a vehicle and now that I'm living correctly, it's much easier to do better things in life. My life was a total wreck. Um, I had lost custody of my children, lost places to live, no vehicle. I was uh, literally at my bottom. Since uh, completing and graduating drug court, I've uh, got custody of my children back. I have a place, place to stay, you know, um, I have a job. But uh, most of all, I just have, I have me. Prior to the program, I was, I used meth every day, uh, except for the 18 months I was pregnant. I have used every day. Now, I have graduated my GED. I am an Eagle Award winner. I'm the ambassador of adult education for Georgia. And now I pay attention to my triggers and my red flags 
so that I am aware and I use my tools that drug court has given me. I was trying to do whatever I could to keep it together. I went from not knowing what I was going to do or having a means to do it to a, uh, a slow and steady recovery. Before I entered the DUI court program, I was in a great deal of depression, but I was burying myself with the alcohol, trying to fight this depression because I never really experienced depression in my life. Since I've been out of the program, I've been very energetic. While I was in the program, I got back in school, got my GED. I'm in college, about to graduate this year. I'm working, at times working two jobs. My life is a lot better now. The program benefited me in more ways than I could probably count. The ability to hold myself accountable and actually look in the mirror and admit to myself that I was the one that messed that up and stand up and fix what needs to be fixed is probably one of the best things that has ever been given to me. I finally realized once I take care of myself then I could take care of what I love and that's, that's my children. The program benefited me by being able to go out in environments where alcohol is to be sold and people are drinking around me and I'm able not to feel that like I have to be a part of that group. My life was in shambles. And even when I got it together over and over again, it seemed like drugs kept popping up, right? But what I found was that that wasn't, that was just precipitous to the other issues that were going on, that I really needed to work on that and stop trying to do things, didn't matter if it was drugs or work or what that work was or whatever else to, uh, you know, create a facade that I didn't have to deal with what the real issues were and that though it was okay. Those things that I had to deal with were okay. I wasn't bad or as a person for what I had been through necessarily, what our, my particular story was. So um, it gave me hope. I wasn't a useful member to society. Um, I was riding on my mother's coattails, borrowing money from her here and there, um, having to be driven around by friends and family, and I was kind of a big hindrance on people's lives, as where now I can benefit people's lives. There is a lot of healing in my family that needed to be done. Uh, they offered that family groups at drug court, which was amazing. It was time for healing. My family, my mom just the other day, I gave her my two-year chip was asking who it was that she could possibly write to express her gratitude. So my family would just definitely, lots changed there. And definitely for the better. Um, I would say that the community has benefited from the program, from me being in it, just for the pure factor that people are safer on the roads because I'm no longer drinking and driving. Um, I have four DUIs, four accidents to go along with it. Um, it's dangerous. I think the community benefited with me being in this program because now I'm a safe driver on the road, one less person on the road underneath the influence. And in the, in the community, I believe that people should kind of point out the unsafe drivers. I was reading somewhere the other day that a person in their 20 year career that they will contribute uh, right under uh, $3 million to that community in the form of not just paying taxes and so forth, obviously, but in what they spend and the time, the things that they do. I think anytime you take somebody and you help them find a way to be a productive part of society to the ring of $3 million, I think that $3 million is a nice round number. If someone came to me and asked about the reasons to go into drug court, escaping jail would not be one of my answers because that is just not helping yourself. It's about addiction and getting help healing the pains that cause the addiction. And it teaches you to love yourself like yourself. You're worth it. They can help you learn to cope with your addiction. We'll never be healed. but. 
through drug court, I've learned that there are ways that I can, there are tools that I can use to help me stay sober. You have to want this so much that you feel like there's no other options in your life. You have to change, and drug court will give you that change. I was actually in St. Jude's Rehab and had a friend that had a uh, defects case here in Douglas County, and I spoke to him and actually got him to join drug court because I seen the way that it was helping me. That's what this is all about anyways. It's, it's not about me, it's about the next person in line and uh, people getting their lives together. I actually have a good friend who just recently graduated this program, and the only reason that she came into it was because of me. Um, I am a firm believer that uh, the accountability courts and uh, a treatment is way better than a prison or a jail sentence because you're going to sit out your time and come out with the same mentality, the same mindset, and probably go and do the same ventures. As where when you go into something like this, um, it can save your life if you let it. Don't look at the cost of DUI court. Look at your time from behind bars. At times we all have to look at ourselves in the mirror and say, you know, is this the cool person you want to be? Or is it someone inside you that you really want to be? The program is so, fun it's so outstanding in what it can do, but if you're just trying to get out of doing some time so you can get back out there in the street, Stop messing around. You will get out. Go do your little bit of time and get out. Keep playing around until you really want it. Let them focus on the people that want it and need it. The difference between drug court te treatment team and going to a regular court track is the regular court track, you go to prison. Drug court gives you a group of treatment people who are there just for you. They treat you like you're the only person in that room and they help you with your problems. They help you to see that you can cope with things without drugs or alcohol and build you up. They keep you built up so that even if you slip and fall, they pick you up and they keep pushing. Drug court is the way to go, definitely. The team that I had in drug court, <laughs> thank God for them sticking beside me because uh, there was times that uh, I wanted to give up and uh, there was times that I made it harder. They stuck beside me and allowed me to see that uh, there was something better at the end of the road. But uh, having a team versus just doing it on your own, is it, it's amazing. I, I wouldn't uh, want to do it without them. I'm not shy to regular court proceedings. Um, I've got a rather lengthy criminal record. Um, most every time I ever walked into a courtroom, I was on my own. I might have had a public defender, maybe a, maybe my mother or a girlfriend in the audience, but uh, you very much go into something like that, wondering what's gonna happen, um, hoping for the best. Uh, as where, when, when you have a team with you, it can make it a lot less scary process. Um, I mean, even, I've been out of the program, I don't know, almost two years now, coming up on two years, uh, and I've still ventured back to, for them to help me with different paperwork and what do I need to do and when uh, I was going through some issues with my custody with my oldest child uh, I reached out to Anita and she was able to give me some more references and, and places to go um, so having more people in your corner it's, it's a much better feeling. When you feel like you have support and not just somebody saying you need to do this or need to do that's not support when, when you feel loved and accepted uh, and part of something greater than yourself and they're there for you, it's a game changer. It absolutely will change your heart. And if you can change your person's heart, their mind will follow. And you can change their behavior at that point. You can change their character. You can change your life. It starts with that hope. And you guys gave that to us right from the start. Treatment courts are a life-saving courtroom that is staffed by criminal justice, substance use, and treatment professionals who are specially trained to treat addiction and mental illness. Treatment courts work. Did you know May is National Drug Court Month? 2019 marks the 30-year anniversary of the first drug treatment court. 
There are more than 3,000 treatment courts across the country. In Georgia, there are 156 treatment courts. Treatment courts serve 150,000 Americans annually. Treatment courts save lives, reunite families, and restore communities. Treatment courts reduce crime and drug use. Treatment courts reduce recidivism by as much as 58%. Participants are 19 times less likely to be re-arrested. Treatment court is where public health meets public safety. The economic impact of accountability courts. There is a savings of $4,707 per graduate when you look at incarceration versus treatment court. Each graduate produces $22,129 in economic benefits to the state. Other benefits include cost savings in health care, foster care, victim, and social costs from recidivism. In Douglas County, there are five treatment courts. A felony drug court, Hope Court for mental illness, DUI, misdemeanor drug, and family treatment court. Our courts work in a collaborative effort to ensure that we serve as many participants as possible. Felony Drug Court has had 49 graduates since 2016. Mr. Meaner DUI Drug Court has had 128 graduates since 2014. Family Treatment Court has had 50 graduates since 2008 and 16 drug-free babies born. Hope Court will have their first graduate during National Drug Court Month. There are 181 active participants receiving treatment in all of our programs. For more information about what we are doing in Douglas County, please visit our website at dcstart.org.